Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia if you're new and today is a very exciting day because it is a collaboration video with Nicole from The Week's Nest. She makes beautiful home decor on a budget, which is exactly what I do, but we thought today would be fun to do a little Ikea collab. So we're gonna serve you up with so much DIY inspo, so let's get right into today's video. For our first Ikea hack, I really wanted to do something with this Ikea soccer greenhouse. I've had this for so many years and I just, I never use it. And I wanted to give it a new life and do something to it. The first thing I had to do was remove those glass pieces because what I wanted to make was actually a nightstand for my guest bedroom. Now, some of the pieces came out really gracefully, really intact, and some did not. Now that those items were all removed and it's nice and hollow, I needed to be able to be accessed and I didn't want someone, if they were staying in our guest bedroom, that they'd have to open it up and it'd be this like annoying process. So I needed it to be nice and hollowed out. I also have these brackets for a shelf that I thought would be perfect for it as well. These are the Ekby Valter ones. They've had these at Ikea for several years. So those were black, so I needed to make the greenhouse black as well. So I'm just using some matte black spray paint and this was probably the most annoying thing I've ever spray painted in my life because there was just so many little corners that you really had to get into. After I finally finished that spray paint job, I needed to cover it with a matte clear spray paint just because it is metal. There's special spray paints for different things, but if you're using spray paint that's not necessarily for metal on metal, definitely you're gonna wanna go over it with a sort of clear coat. After all of that spray paint had finally dried and we were ready to actually install the shelf, you've made your markings, you've determined that your screw fits. If you're going into drywall, you know, just make sure that you're using an anchor because you don't want um, your shelf to be unstable. Because this is metal and not wood, I couldn't use those screws from the bottom in like I typically would for the sh actual shelf. So what I decided to use was magnetic tape so then that way it wouldn't be moving around and it would stay nice and sturdy. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised with this magnetic tape. Like once the greenhouse was on there, it was not moving. And this is how it turned out. For this Ikea hack, it's something that I think anybody could do, and it's just taking this $1.29 Ikea trash can and turning it into a beautiful pendant light. So this Ikea trash can, it's obviously made of plastic. Also, you can get the light fixture from Ikea, or you can order it off Amazon, whatever works for you. And this is also really inexpensive. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the light fixture and I'm placing it at the base of the trash can and just making a mark because all I'm gonna do is cut around. Now, of course, you can take a drill bit and do that whole thing, but because this is just kind of cheapy plastic, it's really easy to just use some scissors and get that hole that you need cut to size. And after that hole is out, you just wanna make sure that it fits before you start doing any of the other like painting projects for um, the customization of your pendant light. And we tested it out and it's working perfectly. So now we can move on to the next step. And I've been so inspired by what I've been seeing on Pinterest and on McGee & Co. It's all of these really beautiful kind of textured light fixtures on the outside, but then on the inside, it's a gold color, which is like a nice little, just like pop of surprise. So I have this metallic gold spray paint and just like as it is right now, I think it looks so cool. Like I feel like it looks really unique and I was really happy with how it turned out. But again, I wanted to make it look not so plasticky around, so I wanted to paint it and kind of texturize it a bit. And I know you've probably seen so many people do this and it's a super simple user-friendly hack and that is to add baking soda to acrylic paint. You cannot believe how much thicker it makes the paint and 
honestly for this type of a project it was perfect so I didn't have a certain amount that I put in I just kind of gauged it mixed it until I got the consistency that I was really happy with and then after all of the white paint had dried it was time now to do the part of the sponge texture that I really wanted and I mixed some gray and some brown paint just to get the consistency that I wanted. And I'm using a Dollar Tree sponge here and I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit on just to give it some really nice texture and movement. What's so nice about this DIY is it's so easy to achieve and it's totally customizable if you wanted to do like an olive green or a black or whatever color really suits your home. I think that that would be really beautiful as well. But because I really wanted a kind of whitish gray light, that is what I chose. And for our final Ikea hack, this is so random, but I needed to include it because I love how it came out. I was looking at McGee and Co's website and on their page, they had some folded paper art. And I was like, what a cool idea. And I have had this lamp from Ikea. They actually don't even sell this lamp anymore, but the hack is actually for the frame, not for the lamp. But I have this textured paper lamp that my son sadly tore. And you know what, it, I've had this lamp for years, it was time to go anyway. So what I thought would be a cool idea was to just place it on the inside of the mat from the Ikea frame. So obviously I had to avoid the rip, but if you don't have paper that looks exactly like this, I always see these kind of lamps at the thrift store or you know, if you just wanna use a different fabric that is kind of textured in this way, like a linen fabric, I think that would look really cool too. Or if you just wanna take good old fashioned you know, computer paper, maybe stain it, wrinkle it up a bit, I think that would be really beautiful as well. So this is just to provide you guys with a different sort of idea that it doesn't always have to be your typical art to be stuck in a frame. You really can think outside the box and find something that really fits your aesthetic. So I'm just taping it down on all four corners and then the sides, because it is kind of textured, I had to pull it apart a bit and just kind of keep trimming until I got exactly what I wanted to show through the mat to show through. But otherwise, I think this is probably the easiest DIY I've ever done. And once everything was nice and secured down, I did end up making one slight change to the frame. My Ikea didn't have any black um, ribba frames, so I ended up spray painting mine black just to fit the vibe of my home more. And after all of that was complete, it's just time to stick it in the frame and hang it up on the wall. And I'm so happy with how this DIY turned out and I hope that it inspires you guys to do the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I post home decor and DIY content every single Sunday and I hope I see you guys next Sunday.